Um, and Are you they were, fish and dormant, so not hibernation. Fish don't hibernate. Not emphatically not hibernation. No, this is a bugbear of yours. Yes, this is. Yeah, this is me being a, a nerd and a, a stickler for details. This is, but no, hibernation is something that is performed by endotherms, um, what we would horribly, crudely term warm-blooded animals. But that's a terrible term. Um, endotherms, which are able to regulate their own body temperature. So us mammals and birds. For example, they, us mammals, you know, there's, you know, mammals can most famously be going into a true hibernation where they are lowering their body temperature and reducing their metabolic rate innately. They're not doing it as dictated by the environment. Yes, they're taking cues from the environment, but they are sort of physiologically lowering their body temperatures and slowing down the metabolic rate. Fish are not able to do that. Reptiles are not able to do that. They are, as the temperature cools, then they cool down as well. So okay. certainly now ponds, the fish are going to be assuming the same, their body temperature will be the same as the temperature in, in the water. So we can get this horrible term, cold-blooded, which we apply to fish, which is not really the case at all. We should forget the terms warm-blooded and cold-blooded completely. Um, with fishes, there can be you know, some, some tilapia um, species, they can be living in hot sulphur springs that could be at about 40 degrees C. So if we had a body temperature of 40 degrees C, it would be incredibly poorly and some arctic um, ice fish they can be swimming around in water that's less than zero that's sort of you know close to 1.91 degrees c so we can't say fish are cold-blooded um and even some fish so diverse are, so diverse yeah and some fish like some of the tunas and some of the sharks can even conserve the body heat the metabolic body heat that they generate and and sort of have counter current heat exchangers which will keep their swimming muscles nice and warm so there will be a sort of a an isotherm going in a cross section through the fish which means that they are actually warmer than warmer than the water that they're swimming in so life doesn't okay. fit into these neat crude categories that we put there uh, that, we, that we make for them and yeah and what about the